Hi everybody, this is Karen Stafford with Dr. Stafford's Musical Cures. I love myself a really cool piece of body percussion. Love it. It's a lot of fun. The kids think they sound cool when they get it down and it's great if you don't have any instruments. However, you might see this or this or this with your body percussion. And that's not so cool. So I want to talk about musical body percussion. Because if your kids are doing this and this and this, they're going to transfer that to the way they treat instruments. And that's not going to be very good. So first of all, think about body percussion not only being a piece to learn rhythm, learn how to keep together, but also a musical piece. If you have not looked up Keith Terry, you need to. Fantastic body percussion performer. But you need to start it with your children and you need to demonstrate it yourself. And I will tell you, it took me quite a few years even during my ORF levels of being fussed at. Hi, Chris and Brian. Being fussed at because I was clapping too hard or patching too hard. When I finally caught on, it just made, made such a world of difference. So let's start with the stamp or the stomp, although stomp seems to relay an image of really getting rough. Sometimes the kids will do this up and down, two feet landing at the same time. Not cool. And you ask them why. Okay, go ahead and do it. How did that fit with everybody, with what everybody else was doing? Did that fit with the beat we established? What part do you think the stomp or the stamp has in this piece? helping keep the beat. Let them figure out why. Let them figure out there's a practical reason so that you're not the bad guy. Let them take responsibility. So you can alter because usually the stamp part, it's not gonna be a very fast rhythm. No more than a fourth of an inch or half an inch from the floor. Depending on their shoes and depending on the floor, they can use their toe or use their heel. I have carpeting, so can't really hear it. But it's got to be gentle and it's got to be even. And it usually accents what's coming up. But it doesn't mean you have to put a hole in the floor to do it. The patch. Again, it's like the instruments. It's got to be kept close. Consider the patching a real good way to learn how to transfer to a barred instrument. Cord Bourdieu. Broken. Crossover. You can even be on one leg and, and alternate playing a quick repetitive rhythm. So use your body percussion as a way to think about transferring to instruments, even if you're not. In this piece that is coming up on Teachers Pay Teachers, Solar Sensation, I have body percussion that's going to be transferred to a drum. It's to the different parts of the drum. It's more difficult to go from the lowest part to the next part with your left hand. So I have to start with the right hand. Think about that when you're doing body percussion with your students. Is there an easier hand to start with and why do you think so? If the student can play it musically and they can start with either hand, that's fine. They have to find the routine and the technique that works for them. 
but it's got to be musical. Same thing if you incorporate this. They're not Tarzan. Clapping. This is what really got me in trouble. I used to go like that. And after I finally caught on to the nice way of clapping, it just made so much more of a difference. Because you can add a little choreography to it. But basically, I tell my kids to keep one hand still as much as possible and let the other one do the work. Much easier to do quick rhythms. The snap, you know, you don't want the arm wave or anything. Just that, but what if your students can't snap? You have enough of them, probably, that they can do the best they can. Because even sometimes mine doesn't come out very well just because of too much piano and flute playing in my ears. It's, sometimes it slips. But if they're really determined to make a sound, sometimes, depending on the student, I have added a tongue cluck. That often opens up problems. So you're going to have to determine, based on your class, what's going to work. Ask your kids to brainstorm. Maybe they can do a pat somewhere else, or if you're not doing this, they can do that, or a head pat or something, so that they feel like they're making some kind of sound. And don't shy away from body percussion. Introduce it, if you're using a book, introduce it apart at a time, and then layer it just like you would an orf piece. If you have body percussion that you do, I would love for you to share the video. I will not share it unless I'm given permission to, but I would just like to see what's going on out there. And as a shameless self-promotion, take a look at from Body to Bucket, Solar Sensation, which is brand spanking new on Teachers Pay Teachers. Or just send me a video of your kids doing another piece. Have a great week. Talk to you later.